So what do we talk about first? For now, let's see if we can narrow down the list of suspects. Tancrotch probably got killed during the seance, so everyone there's suspicious. Me, Kyo, Himiko, and Kokichi. So those four are the culprits! Oh, Himiko still culprit? Well, that's probably just a coinky dink. The most suspicious out of the four is really. Kyo! He suggested the whole seance idea! True, I may have suggested it. But I explained the procedure beforehand, yes? If we all knew of it before the murder, then we are all equally suspicious. Well, I suppose, but... In addition, the seance wasn't entirely in my control, either. I was not the one who selected the room we performed it in. It was Himiko. Oh, right. Also, we should not limit our suspects to only those who participated in the seance. The empty room had a point of entry from outside, you see. You're talking about under the floor, right? Huh? Under the floor? Yes, there's a crawl space under the floor a person can move through. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring room. If the culprit used the hole, they could have entered and exited the seance room. If we consider that possibility, then there is another suspect. Another suspect? Who? <laughs> it's appearing before me. Oh, I can see it clearly. The true identity of Tenko's killer. The culprit sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance! I said, hold on a second! He used his robot functions to commit the murders! Hold on a second! The culprit sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now hold on a second! Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor! <laughs> I'll reveal the truth! 
Mew, you gave Kibo his flashlight function, correct? Did you not notice? I didn't notice what? The drawback of the flashlight function that you added. It's so bright, even Kibo can't see when it's turned on. Hmm, I see. That bright, huh? Wait, what? There's no way a genius like me would make that kind of rookie mistake! But you make mistakes a lot. A whole lot. Hey! If you're gonna fuck me in front of everyone, at least buy me dinner first! If he can't see, it doesn't matter how bright the area is. He couldn't move like that. Kibo couldn't have been underneath the floor. I is that true, Kibo? Is what Shuichi said true? Um... Well, uh... I'm so sorry. I just don't remember. Really, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, we get it already! Just turn it off! We're gonna go blind! You don't remember? What does that even mean? Well, Shuichi, trying to make a fool out of me, huh? Let me put on some makeup! Cause I wanna at least look pretty before you decide to fuck me! Uh, um, that, that's, uh... Shuichi, I'm so sorry! Damn, that is seriously bright! Wouldn't the light have shined through the gaps of the floorboard if it had been this bright? Culprit couldn't have used a light under the floor. Not even Kibo. Oh, they couldn't have. We were there after all. We would know. There was a hole near the corner of the room we were in, remember? If someone had a light under the floor, it would have leaked through. But when we did the seance, I'm pretty sure the room was pitch black. That's right. We didn't see anything, so the culprit couldn't have used a light. And just because I have a built-in flashlight function does not mean I am the culprit. I see. That was a flaw in my theory. Jeez, here I thought this would be the case where the murder could only be done by a robot. You have accused me of being the culprit more than once now simply because I am a robot. My status as a robot does not mean I am capable of performing superhuman feats. My vision is somewhat poor, and I only possess average physical strength and intelligence. All right, all right, you made your point. God, now I feel sort of bad for you. I neither want nor need your pity. Enough with the flashlight! It's way too bright! It would have been difficult to move around under the floor in that pitch black darkness. Maybe the floor and the hole have nothing to do with this case. Then why was floorboard under Tanko lined up funny? Gonta think that was so culprit could stab Tanko from under floor. Ooh, nice observation, Gonta. Are you finally getting used to the class trials? Uh-huh. Thank you. Don't say it like that. You're better off not being used to this kind of stuff. Maybe 
they marked Tenko with glowing paint and looked for that. That'd let the culprit find her. Then they could stab her through the floorboards. Boy, that sounds really familiar too. But I'm just gonna ignore it. Her corpse didn't have any trace of glowing paint though. Oh, yeah. So then why was that floorboard loose? The loose floorboard was the one under Tenko, right? If the culprit used it while she was still alive, she'd totally notice. Who fucking cares? Fussing over that won't get us closer to the culprit! We shouldn't dismiss this line of inquiry, however. Instead of butting our heads against this, how about we concentrate on another issue? What other issue? Perhaps first, we should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. When? So not during seance? Tenko was in the metal cage for the whole seance, wasn't she? How could someone have gotten to her there? Maybe the culprit killed her before she went under the metal cage. That's not possible. She was alive at that point. Yes, she was unmistakably alive when the seance began. That was right before we blew out the candles. But when the light came back... The floorboard was removed at that point, so it's likely she was already dead then. So she was killed when the room was dark? But she was inside Cage, right? Going to think it impossible to kill her then. Then she wasn't killed when the room was dark! It was a different time! A different time? How the fuck should I know? You figure it out, shitheads! Huh? Since Gonta said it was impossible, I'm proposing an alternate theory. Now hurry up and think! If you want to make my golden brain tingle, start circle jerking your limp dick brains! When Tenko got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. <laughs> what about moment cage was lifted? <sighs> like that. When cage lifted, culprit stabbed Tenko real fast. So fast, no one saw. Oh my! So who lifted the cage? Uh, it was me. <laughs> then obviously Himiko is the culprit. There's no to the down. When Tenko got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. What about moment cage was lifted? That's wrong! No, it wasn't possible to kill her the moment the cage was lifted. 
because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. That cloth was removed before the cage was lifted. If Tenko was stabbed then, there wouldn't be blood on the cloth. What? But how could my golden brain be wrong when it felt so, so right? The only possibility is that Tenko was killed during the sale. I got your remodel right here! No, it's still wrong to think that Tenko was killed during the seance. What? I'm gonna prove it right now! My golden brain is gonna go all out! Tenko died after the seance! It happened when the sheet was lifted. That was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of Tanko through the cage. They stuck the thin blade through the gaps of the cage. And that clean white sheet got stained blood red. But the weapon was a sickle. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. The blade's all you need. If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage, it'd be long enough to reach Tenko, sitting in there with her neck all exposed. She wasn't that far from the cage's gap. In which case, the person who lifted the sheet is the... And that's none other than Kyo! The blade's all... If you stick the blade in the cage, it's long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with her neck. I'll cut through your words. Wait just a minute. Tenko wasn't sitting down inside the cage. She was bent over with her forehead against the marker stone. And the cage itself was about three feet tall. The sickle's blade was too short to reach Tenko while she was in that position. Then I messed up again? How could this happen? I am so embarrassed. No worries, Mew. Everyone already knows you're an embarrassment to the human race. Yeah, no worries. If Shuichi is right, then it's impossible for Tenko to have been killed through the cage. She couldn't have been killed during the seance since she was in the cage, right? If she was killed then, the cloth over the cage would have been pierced. Not during the seance or from below the floor. Then it's impossible, isn't it? Yeah, for a living person. Huh? <laughs> what if Angie's spirit killed Tenko? What are you talking about? Th th that's not possible! You don't know that. Some things are impossible for a human, but not for a spirit. S don't say stupid stuff like that! S screw spirits! Stop that now. Angie's spirit killed Tenko? Why? Himiko? Why would Angie's spirit kill Tenko? What if Tenko killed Angie, and then Angie's spirit came back for revenge? Like I said, that's impossible! Spirits can't be culprits! Then explain how the culprit killed Tenko under these impossible circumstances. Well, uh... See, you can't explain, can you? Only a spirit could have done- Wait, that. I know! What if the culprit was hiding inside the cage? If they were in there, 
They could have stabbed Tenko during the seance. No. If there was someone else in the cage, we would have I noticed. I agree with Kaito. The culprit could have been inside the cage. Nonsense. There was no space in the cage for the culprit to hide. Maybe the culprit wouldn't need to hide in the first place. What? Also, the culprit could have killed her in the cage at any time. I think you know what I'm getting at, right? I believe Maki is referring to Tenko herself. Tenko is the culprit? She committed suicide. T suicide? If she committed suicide, it would explain a lot of things we couldn't figure out. She volunteered to be in the cage, and then stabbed herself during the seance. It wouldn't matter how dark the room was. But the sickle she was stabbed with was under the floor, right? had stabbed herself, wouldn't the sickle still be inside the cage? Uh, oh my god. Mew actually said something smart. Perhaps that explains why the floorboard was removed. After stabbing herself with the sickle, she threw it underneath the floor. So she took off the floorboard to get rid of the sickle? Yes. That makes sense to Gonta. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. There's no reason for Tanko to commit suicide. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. You know, about Tenko killing Angie. Yeah? Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, right? <laughs> Tenko's pent-up frustration led her to commit such an atrocity. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore, so she decided to end her own life. What? But if she was going to kill herself, why do it during the seance? She wanted to hide the truth of her suicide. Really? Why? There could only be one reason to hide it in a killing game, right? It's to take us down with her. Take us down? She wanted us to pick the wrong answer during the class trial. So she could bring us all down. She wanted us to die with her. Okay, well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her, but still. What are you saying? Tinko wasn't like that. She told me. What if all of that was just a lie? A lie? Wait! We should believe Tenko's last words! The true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything said. Himiko, you said that Tenko would never do anything like that. But how can you be so sure? Did you guys actually know each other? People keep all sorts of secrets. Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded killer. Is it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? Jeez, you're such a naive dude. Naive? We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. 
People can lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. Well, duh. It's impossible to know for sure what others are thinking. That's why it all comes down to whether or not you believe in yourself. If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. That's why I believed in Maki Roll, because I wanted to believe in her. Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip training. Hey, come on. Don't you think you're being a little too strict? Well, we come from different backgrounds. So for now, let's agree to disagree. No one's ever called me naive before. And from Kaito? Seriously? Whether or not I believe, my heart can't reach Pinko anymore. But I want to believe in her. She wouldn't commit suicide. She wouldn't try to take us down. That's what I want to believe! Me too. Gonta, no can believe Tenko commits suicide. But if Tenko did commit suicide, that would answer all of our questions. If you insist we believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to do so. All right. I'll give you a reason. Is there a reason? Yes, there is. Will you trust me, Maki? If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective work. Our suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. Tenko is not that kind of person! But if Tenko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the sands. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it! Finally, with the last of her strength, she threw the sickle underneath the floor. All the pieces fit. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. <laughs> to take us down with her. Secretly brought her. with the last of her strength. The sickle underneath the floor. I'll reveal the truth. Tenko couldn't have thrown the sickle under the floor. Because she died instantly. Instantly? I'm certain of it. My investigation determined that she died instantly. What's your opinion, Maki? I'd like to hear from someone who specializes in murder. Maki. You're right. I completely forgot about that important detail. Tenko died instantly. What? 
As an assassin, I specialize in killing my targets swiftly. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. <laughs> Words of a true killer. Pretty sure we can believe everything she said. How could you forget that, Maki Roll? You better apologize to Shuichi. Excuse me? It's okay, Kaito, really. No apology necessary. Anyway, Tanko died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Knowing that, the theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? Just like I thought. Tanko would have committed suicide. Thank goodness, Himiko. Which means someone definitely killed Tenko during the seance. Her suicide was considered because we could not determine how she was killed. No! There must have been a way! We're gonna figure it out! Did any of the participants witness anything... peculiar during the seance? If you know something, please speak up. It could be the key to solving this mystery. <laughs>